Ric Flair's last match. Sunday, July 31st at the Nashville Municipal Auditorium. Leading up to the event, we showcase Ric Flair's journey back to the ring in the exclusive docuseries, Ric Flair, The Last Match. As we unveil the star-studded matches that make up the card this Monday at 6.05 Eastern, we reveal the main event, Ric Flair's last match. Who will be standing across the ring from the Nature Boy? The world finds out this Monday at 6.05 Eastern. Ric Flair's last match .com. John Moxley versus Kanosuke Takeshita. I think I butchered his name there, but regardless, what a beautiful wrestling match this was. I've mentioned today on Observer Live that I think that if you are you going to do like a list of the greatest wrestlers in the world, Moxley has to be in the Oh, of course, yes. Absolutely has to be. Because every single match this guy has is great. Every one. Name the last mediocre John. You'd have to go back to Dean Ambrose. You might have to, yeah. I can't even remember the last time he even had a mediocre match. And, bro, we're talking not just Dynamite, but I was there for that match with Filthy Tom at Defy. Oh, yeah. Just, uh, you know, that match was so awesome. And then this match was so great. Every time he's in there, every time he's in there, he delivers. The crowd goes nuts for all the matches. He carries himself like a champion. He carries himself like a crazy man. They all come off like a fight. And a different fight. A, Not yes. even like Suzuki and Ishii, where it'll never get old. It's like watching a Ric Flair match. It'll never get old watching Suzuki and Ishii. But 99 out of 100 are exactly the same. The, the Ishii-Tanahashi match was an exception because they played each other. But other than that, you watch an Ishii match, you know what you're going to get. You fucking never know what you're going to get with a John Moxley match. No. It's just going to be whatever it's going to be on that day. And it's always great. It's always great. And he's in there with Takeshita, who I think I'm ready to put in the always great category himself. Yes. So there is a story here. It kind of took a while because for a long time they're just beating the hell out of each other. But the story was John Moxley, who is many times world champion, the reigning AEW champion, as uh, Regal and Sissy just be called, clearly a tough, tough bastard. But he gets in there with Takeshita. And as this battle goes on, Moxley starts to realize this Takeshita kid is bigger than me and stronger than me. And faster than me. And if this gets into a contest of who can do the biggest moves, he's going to beat me. And so Moxley, the wily veteran, is constantly luring him into a dirty fight. Either an ugly scrap, a, a, a violent brawl, or a, a technical ground battle. He can outgrapple the man. He has better holds than Takeshita. But he can't do... He did a clothesline Takeshita did here where he almost jumped over Moxley entirely. It was just the bomb. And he's doing power bombs, this big-ass dive... Frog splashes and all this, and, 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 and Mox can't hang with him there. He's not the athlete Takeshita is, but he's uh, he's wily, he's experienced, and he's a tough mother. So eventually, they're exchanging near falls, and uh, Mox is going for arm bars, and he hits the paradigm shift and tries another one, but Takeshita flips out of it, hits a big German suplex, and it looks like he's going for some other uh, uh, power move, but Moxley just headbutts him to death, hits him with the Death Rider, and that is what Excalibur called it, and finished him with the elbows and the bulldog choke. Beautiful professional wrestling on display here. Beautiful, I say. Yeah, you know, uh, Josiah here in the chat, even though we talked about a chainsaw for a full minute, and somehow as he was listening, he didn't hear us talking about a chainsaw and called us out for it. Maybe he's late. He did make a great point, and that is that I do not believe that John Moxley is in the Hall of Awesome. Hmm. And I hereby nominate Jonathan Moxley seconded for the prestigious prestigious Matt Cleary Memorial Brian and Vinny Hall of Awesome so John Moxley congratulations you my friend are fucking awesome the only qualification for this Hall of Awesome is that you are awesome and no one can deny that John Moxley is awesome no he is in the Hall of Awesome now long overdue if we're being honest but we do the best we can Anyway, this rule to go watch it. This is how the show begins, really. Asuka does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.